<laughs> Password. Wordy. Yui op. And <laughs> enter. And enter. Incorrect password. All right. What about? No, no, no. Hit the forgotten your password. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Do you know the longest word you can type with the top row of keys? Quirtiop? No. It's... Typewriter. Oh my god. Yeah, how cool is that, right? That is cool. Of course, Only typewriters are obsolete these days, but still. Well, it's the same format. Feels good. And that one's all stunned. I'm gonna take all your shit. How do you feel about taking all of your shit? Probably bad. They probably feel bad about me taking all their shit. It's fine. I think he was too busy being electrocuted to know or care. Hey, die, die. Hey, you Sorry. know what I learned yesterday? What did you learn? The word electrocute comes from a combination of electric and uh, execute. So it means death by electricity. Um, oh, it doesn't mean adorable electricity? No, but I... <laughs> <laughs> no, like, sometimes people will say I was electrocuted when they just mean shocked. But, oh, like, yeah. you actually have to die in order to be electrocuted. Oh. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Didn't you just learn a fucking fact? Thanks to your old pal Dan? Yeah, but, you know, the thing is... That, that's... See, I, I, I fall into this trap all the time of language use. If people all use a word to mean a certain thing, then that's what that word means eventually. That's mm. just how language works. Right. So, you say that, and that's the entomology of that word, but I would say more than 50% of the world's population who uses the word electrocuted uses it as to mean shock. Is entomology the right one? I th um, or is that bugs? I think that's bugs. I think etymology. Etymology. Well, I love eating entomame, so... Oh, Alright, I'll bite. <laughs> what language do bugs speak? <laughs> Etymology, that's what I mean. I think that's right. Entomology is bugs, I guess. Yeah, or uh, horses. Whatever, but that's the- that's... <laughs> so, if more than 50% of people use a word a certain way- Wait, what's then... the study of horses? Etymology. God damn it. Hold on. What? What's the fucking? Uh, Is it like b brentomology? No, it's something close to that though. It's the study of somebody going, eh? Over and over. <laughs> That's Brent, yes. <laughs> eh? Uh, the study of horses. What, what is the study of horses called? Did they just have the study of fucking anything? It's like, oh, the study of this blade of grass. That's uh, this blade of grassology. Oh no, that's hipology. That's not correct. Hipology? H i p p. Oh, because of the hippo. Yep. Is, is Latin for yes. horse, I guess. What is the study uh, of bugs called? Entomology, it is. You sure about that? Yeah. You so sure you were wrong? Yes, you were right. You are right about being wrong earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And Thank etymology you. is the study of words. Of words, yeah. I mean, whatever, man. And brentomology is the study of our manager who goes, eh? <laughs> eh? 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 What do you think? That's the last time I listened to you. I'm glad. I'm gonna need you to help me with my math homework, though. <laughs> okay. I'm not very good at algebra. <laughs> algebra? Yeah. The fucking... The primordial ooze. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the mixture of high-level math and, uh, Aramaic, the language the Bible was originally written in. <laughs> <laughs> algebra is difficult. For some reason, algebra remind me of smegma. Smegma? <laughs> yeah. Not my problem, bruh. I'm yeah. Jewish. What? Smegma? You can't get you can't get that smeg if you got snipped. <laughs> Do you know what it is? It's like blood and semen, isn't ah, it? Ah, no. It's. I don't know how to descri describe it without being super gross. Just had a panic attack. All right. If if you're uncircumcised, <laughs> smegma is the, the gook that can accumulate underneath the hood. Ah! <laughs> I know, bro. I know. Ah! It's, it's nothing you want. I don't want it. I know. I know. Get it out of my head. <laughs> Make me unlearn that. 
I thought it was just blood and semen. No, I know. And that's the regular old blood and semen of our days. <laughs> I just thought it was a normal thing, everyday thing. And that's what that's why like when people are like, Aren't you pissed your parents circumcised you? Like, it kills nerve endings and makes sex less pleasurable. And then I'm like, yeah, it kinda sucks, but like Mm, smeg. <laughs> smeg. Just gotta think about the smeg, bro. <laughs> oh, God. The smeg ma, bro. Never gotta deal with that. Good. Yeah. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, woo! Oh. <laughs> Always sounds like he's fucking dying. Yeah, it's part of- it's just part of his, uh, aesthetic. His vocal aesthetic. Ass. Aesthetic. Wow. It's funny how pathetic is bad, but aesthetic is good. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Well, aesthetic could be bad too. Yeah, depending on how assy the thetic is. Aesthetic is neutral, actually. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Actually? It's just a look. Yeah. I mean, people say, like, that's aesthetic. And it's like, that usually means positive. Huh. But I don't know, I guess sometimes it can be negative. Wait, they, they use it as an adjective? Yeah. Like, oh my god, that's aesthetic. Huh. Yeah. That, I've never heard that before. It's yeah. always been just like a noun. Oh, like that's like, like your Like your style, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a new thing. Or a look, look, look! Whenever you, you know, you see some like... You see some... You know, like 10th floor studio apartment with like a big window and everything and like a bunk bed and... It's like there's like, uh, there's a bunch of plants everywhere. You'd be like, that's aesthetic. Mm. You know. I've heard the term serving seaward lately, and I I don't fully know what it means. I don't quite understand, but it's be it's in use a lot. Well, Dan. Should I know what it means? I mean, what do you think it means? I, th I think it means, like, if I had to venture a guess, like, showing off, like, the, like, the sexiness. Is that it? It's, it's like... God, how do I explain it other than saying serving n Well... <laughs> this is my problem. <laughs> serving face? I've not. I, does it mean like giving a look? Like, hmm. Like a model, kinda. Like Blue Steel? La Tigra? Yeah. Got it. Got it. Alright. Alright. I guess I can understand. Oh, okay. It's like... It's- it's more like- it's like- it's like ferocity, you know? You know- you know when they- like- Like showing off sort of an aggressive sexuality? When it- yes. When- you know when people used to say like, she's fierce? Yes. It's- it's that kind of energy. It's sort of like, yes! But just now. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah. yeah nobody- nobody says fierce anymore. Really? That's very like, early 2000s. Oh, man. Yeah. So... Here and thenceforth, the fuck was I talking about? Sh sh Some shit. Chakras, yeah. as you stupidly call them. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I believe that was your term, but go on. No, sh you said they were. Sh I said chakra. Oh, 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 yeah, same thing. And you said fuck. It's not the same thing. Chakra yeah. is wrong. You don't like chocolate milk? That's that's neither here nor there. <laughs> okay. You don't like shock full of nuts? Delicious frosty <laughs> cup. Whoa. Mug. Cup of Joe. Mm. Where did that come from? Cup of Joe? Yeah. I don't know, actually. Maybe because it's like your average Joe drinks it. Like, just a fucking cup of Joe. None of that fancy herbal tea horse shit. I'm gonna look it up, because now I'm super curious. Right? That's a- it's, it's a super interesting question, because what the fuck does Joe have anything to do with coffee? Aside from that maybe it was made by a guy named Joe, and he was like, I'll name it after me, and then everyone was like, nah, coffee. <laughs> but my name is Joe Coffee. Joe Coffee. <laughs> Where does Cup of Cup of Joe. It's not Cup of Joe, it's Cup of Joe. Cup. Like Cup of Feel. That's not, <laughs> that's not what that. Or. That's to Cup of Feel. C-O-P. No, you get arrested then. Right. I'm sorry. Just- just a- just a mug of your feelings? That's a cup of feel? No, a cop of- like, you wouldn't want to feel up a cop. Let's you check out- cut cop of feel. 
Okay, Snopes. He's a great magician. According to Snopes, it's a Navy thing. What? Some theorize that it all started in 1913 when Joseph Daniels, Josephus Daniels, was appointed Secretary of the Navy. Of blah, 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 blah. Of course, he's a weird pronunciation. Yeah. Uh, Secretary Joe issued General Order 99, which prohibited alcohol above naval vessels. From then on, the strongest drink of any kind allowed on naval ships has been coffee. The presumably disgruntled and sober sailors weren't happy with the changes, so they started to call a cup of coffee a cup of Joe out of spite. It seems convincing, but is it true? God damn it, Snopes, just tell me what's true! <laughs> Don't fucking give me theories and then- Don't tug my heartstrings! Oh, actually. Okay, according to a British etymologist, the- the theory that holds the most water is the shortening of the word jamoke. Uh, which is a, uh, slang for Java and Mocha. Oh! Oh, that makes sense. Next time on Game Grumps, more facts! Oh, I learned a thing. Also, I got the- I got the Oh, you did it! Yay! I was looking at coffee facts. That's cool. That was probably more interesting. I, it was for me. Here we go, level three. Oh. BD. Bad dudes. <laughs> it makes me want a hot dog real bad. <laughs> Dude, hot dog's the perfect food. You can't argue with me on that. Did you know that if you I could argue with you that it's food in general. <laughs> That's not true. It's food. What is it? You can eat it. What is it? Yeah, what is it? It's food. Right, but break it down for me. It's animal byproduct. Uh, what animal and what byproduct? Pig. Really? Pig? Yeah. All pig? As far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I was misled. Um, should we Google this once and for all? Sure. Okay. Uh oh, I'm about to I'm about to drown. Well, I'm one step closer to the dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm go. about to die. Everything you kiss. Kiss. Look it up. What is hot dog? It's the perfect food. What is in? A Going very high hot dog. Oh no, I'm falling! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Wow. Boy, Sonic really went through it. <laughs> I love his little stand! I do too. <laughs> it's just so polite. <laughs> I just work out the knees. I love the idea that Sonic might have degenerative knee problems. I agree. He's just so fucking like- He's so rigid. He's like waiting his turn. Yeah. <laughs> He's like in line at the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, you dropped your pen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. No problem. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Etymology. Um, general description. Etymology. I'm gonna eat them all. <laughs> oh, good. Health risks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Apparently, every hot dog you eat reduces your lifespan by 30 minutes. Is that right? That's what the uh, article said recently. Well, an article would never lie. <laughs> 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 I read it on the internet. <laughs> Bastion of truth. This is going around. Common hot dog sausage ingredients include meat trimmings and fat. Mechanically separated meat, pink slime, and meat slurry. <laughs> Those are the most ambiguous ingredients I've ever heard. Flavorings such as salt, garlic, and paprika. Ooh. And preservatives, typically sodium, uh, erythrobate, which, and sodium nitrate. So Yum. different types of salt. Um, wow. Sodium nitrate I don't think is technically salt. No, no, but it's related, I believe. Cause so, so, um, what is salt? Salt has a sodium name. Hold on, before I do that, I'm gonna so, go down this rabbit hole for a second and learn about mechanically separated meat. Uh, hold on. What is the proper name of salt? I think it's sodium bicarbonate. Sodium chloride. Sodium chloride, okay. 
Uh, mechanically separated meat is a paste-like meat product produced by forcing pureed or ground beef, pork, mutton, turkey, or chicken under high pressure through a sieve or similar device to separate the bone from the edible meat tissue. It's sometimes called white slime. Cool. As an analog to m meat additive pink slime. Mmm. Uh, oh, so it's there's also poultry meat in it? I, it? It appears that it may very well be a mixture of beef, pork, mutton, which I don't even know what that is. Uh, lamb. It's definitely, yeah. Uh, yeah, so cow, pig, lamb, turkey, and chicken mashed together through a sieve. I, like I said, the perfect food. Oh my god. It has everything. Let's see what pink slime is. Uh... A meat byproduct used as a food additive to ground beef and beef beast product processed meats as a filler or to reduce the overall fat content of ground beef. Mm. The, re the resulting good. paste without the fat is exposed to ammonia gas or citric acid to kill bacteria. Okay. So, so far we know in a hot dog is cow, pig, lamb, turkey, chicken, ammonia, and citric acid. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> the product, when prepared using ammonia gas, is banned from human consumption in Europe, but not America. Well, good. I guess Europe's missing out. Yeah, they must be. Fucking, this shit's delicious. They don't know what they're missing. And this, then you wrap it in pig intestines. These, pa <laughs> these pictures are fucking disgusting. <laughs> No, they're not. You are not even looking at them. I can imagine how <laughs> delicious they look, okay? Wow. Why don't you show me one? Hold on one sec. I, I, we've got one more thing to look up. Okay. What's the one more thing? Well, we know that it's mechanically pro separated meat, pink slime, and meat slurry. That's right. the other mystery oh, ingredient. Meat slurry. It's gotta just be like random meat. Meat slurry or reconstituted meat or emulsified meat, Ooh. is a liquefied meat product that contains fewer fats, pigments, and less myoglobin than unprocessed dark meats. Meat slurry is more malleable than dark meats and eases the process of meat distribution as pipelines may be used. So if I'm understanding this correctly, oh wait, meat slurry is yeah. not designed to sell for general consumption. Rather, it is used as, as a meat supplement in food products for humans, so such as chicken nuggets and food for domestic animals. Poultry is common meat slurry. Beef and pork are also used. Is- Am I understanding that correctly? Is it like a type of liquefied meat that like, greases the tubes that the rest of the meat has to travel through? I guess, I don't know. At least they're using a natural... thing. Would you rather they use chemical grease? Like ammonia? Or citric acid? Citric acid is naturally occurring. <laughs> Okay, ammonia Six. gas? That's not good, Aaron. That's poison. You don't know that. The, uh, Europe knows it. They <laughs> banned it. <laughs> All right, well, it probably sounds worse than it is. It's like saying, like, <laughs> cherries have cyanide in them, You but said it was the perfect food! It is! <laughs> I stand by that. Look up fucking ammonia gas in food. Okay. <laughs> you know... When we're looking up the ingredients of a, of a food, I feel like we sh it shouldn't send us to 12 other articles to explain what we're looking at. Ah! Oh, Sonic. Ooh, Sonic. Ooh, Sonic. I'm a little drill bit, short and stout. Here is my drill bit, here is my drill bit. <laughs> When I get a drill bit, I will drill. Ah, here, you'll like this. Why is ammonia important in food? Ammonia is naturally occurring, found in the body, human body, beef, other proteins, and virtually all foods. It plays an important role in the body's nitrogen cycle and in helping the body synthesize the protein. It also maintains the pH level the body needs. So why did Europe ban it for human consumption? Probably because it sounds scary. You, you, you really think that's what it is? D dude, stranger things have happened with regulations. That, you know what? I s- I- oh. I still- I'm still not convinced, but... 
Um. Oh wait. Here, here's a here's an article from EatThis.com titled "This is secretly what's in your hot dog." Oh, it's God. not a secret. It's on the box. Um. Wow, this has a lot of links to other things that are not what I asked for. <laughs> Sounds like a reliable source. Yep. Mechanically separated chicken. Yup. Potassium lactate. Natural flavor. Sodium diacetate. Is this Mario? What the fuck is happening here? Wow. Fat. Just pure fat. Great. Sounds delicious. Gives it flavor. Hydrolyzed corn protein. Mmm. Love it. Boy, that's weird. That's a rabbit hole. I'll have to... I'll have to get back to that. In time. Oh, are you stopping? Why did they ban ammonia? That was the question. Oh, okay. I figured... The Lovelies might not want the whole episode to be about hot dogs. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't know. This is like episode 30 or something. Like, the, they're along for the ride. This is episode like 8,000 of Game Grumps, <laughs> so... Might as well. That's true. Drill! Why was ammonia... banned in food in Europe? I bet you it's gonna be something stupid. Bet you a million bucks. In the United States, uh, children can drink fruit juice beverages made with red dye number 40 and eat macaroni and cheese colored with yellow dye number 5. Yet in the UK, these artificial colorings have been taken off the market due to health concerns. Um, okay. That's not ammonia. Uh, the US food... The FDA places no restrictions on the use of formaldehyde or formaldehyde releasing ingredients in cosmetics or personal care products. Okay. Yet these are banned in Japan and Sweden where where their levels are limited elsewhere in Europe. Um hmm. But nothing about ammonia. Hold on. <laughs> it's like a hundred things that we allow in this country to <laughs> put in and on our bodies that other countries are like, oh god no. Yeah. <laughs> Shame. Uh, <laughs> Put that on my body every day. Atrazine, uh, the most heavily used uh, herbicide in the U.S., is ba has been banned in Europe for 20 years. Okay. Um, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, 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 my God, I got a glitch! Oh, what happened? Just for a second! Oh, uh, what happened? Just for a second! Oh, it was so nice! Oh, that's uh, nice. I, like, went through the ceiling. I could have enjoyed it, but you were making me look up shit about hot dogs. It's, it wasn't that impressive. Okay. I'm, I'm overselling it because I finally got one. Oh, okay. You have seen it, I would bet, the mountain erupting without pause. When the mountain began to rage, all four of us elders and Arbus, our patriarch, went inside to investigate its anger. <laughs> Fuck, ow, stop, <laughs> I hate it! <laughs> no, Dan, no. No, I'm okay, keep you going. You gotta, you know what you have to do? What's that? You take your pinky. Oh, yes, yes. No. I remember, <gasps> what was it again? Close your eyes. Uh-huh. And then... As lightly as physically possible, touch the outside of your eyelids with the tips of your pinkies, till you literally only, like feel like a fucking atom on your okay. eyelid. <laughs> He's doing it, folks. Both of them. Yeah, get it nice and fucking sturdy, and just just the fucking atom, like a hair. A lot of concentration. Oh, he's doing it, folks. He's oh my god. Touching the outside of his eyelids. <laughs> I haven't hiccuped in a while. I know it fucking works. How does that work? <laughs> that is unbelievable. It's like the stupidest shit, right? But it always works. It must just be some kind of like. It's wow. like it's like concentration. Yes, it must just be like taking your brain out of like the the function that controls that portion of your body. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, there you go. You don't have hiccups anymore. Boy, that's fucking bizarre. I know, right? It works every time. Or if I scare someone. Yeah. That works sometimes too. But it's hard it's hard to get scared when the person is like, oh no, I have to scare you. And then you're like, cool. I won't be ready for it. 
Alright, next time on Game Grub.